Welcome to MusicMoveIt.com. I am Torio, and today I want to discuss how to promote your music with listening parties. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you like this video in the end, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. Also, don't forget, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. I do videos on music business advice, and every Friday I do a show where I review indie music. Now let's talk about listening parties. A lot of artists and bands usually do this right when their album's coming out, or the week that it's coming out. And they generally throw it at a venue somewhere... Or sometimes it's called the record release party, or sometimes they call them listening parties. Sometimes they, they're two separate things. It just depends on the way you use the term, I guess. But the way you can do it now, which is easier and you could possibly get more people to join instead of inviting everybody to a venue, especially with how the world is now, everyone's extra careful and this and that, you can do it all online. Now, how do you go about doing it? Well, it's as easy as asking your friends, your family, and your fan base to join you either on a place like Instagram or Facebook, and you should do it live, or like Discord is another great place to do this. So you go live, tell them at seven o'clock, I'm going live on whatever platform, and I will be playing each one of my new songs, or if it's just a single, my new song, and I'll be discussing what I went through to create it, or I'll be discussing what the lyrics mean. You could do all kinds of things. So recently I, went, I joined one of these. It was on Instagram and it was a listening party and a guy played his EP. And before each song, he'd explain who produced it. He'd talk about who helped him write it and this and that, some other facts about it. Then he'd play it and then he'd go to the next song, talk about it some more and he'd answer questions because people would chat and you could read the questions and he'd answer them throughout and things like that. And it worked out really well. He had like 2,000 people in there, which is pretty good. And then in the end, of course, he stated where it was going to be to stream and what platforms and where you can buy it or download it or whatever. And also he said where to buy his merch. So all that tied in together into one great listening party and a lot of people were there and they reacted. So that's what you got to do. You just got to promote the hell out of it. Say, look, on Friday at 8.30, I'm going live on Instagram or I'm going live on Discord and I will be playing my new single or my new album, and I'll be discussing it. What I did to make it happen, what I did to create it. And this way you're engaging with your fans. And that's what people love to do. So it's a lot better to get them all to come online instead of inviting people to venues, people can't get babysitters, they're not gonna come out because it's too crowded, this and that. Online, no problem. People could come while they're in bed, sitting in their pajamas for all you know. So this is an excellent way to get people to hear your music either like a week before it's going to come out. You could even do it while it's out if you haven't thrown like a listening party yet. So it's a great thing to do and I think you should try it out. Now I hope you liked this quick video. If you did, give it that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Also look in the description below. There are tons of things that can help your music career. There are ebooks you can download. There's discounts on services such as TuneCore, DistroKid, Banzoogle. You got to use the links below to get the service, to get the discount on the service. And there's many other things down there that could help your career. So don't forget to check all that out. Now, I really appreciate you watching and I will see you next video. Mm -hmm.